I'm joined now by an outspoken critic of President Trump's new policies, former Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaragosa. He's also a Democratic candidate for California's gubernatorial race. Mayor, thank you for joining me this morning. I got to get your response to Sean Spicer. Donald Trump has been very outspoken about being the president of law and order. So if someone entered this country illegally, is Sean Spicer right that the government has a right to have that person removed? Well, they may have a, a legal right. Uh, that is a, a question of debate. Uh, the question is, do they have a moral right? Uh, the question is, uh, sh should they uh, deport uh, 11 million people? No country's ever done that. You know, according to the National Academy of uh, Sciences, uh, immigrants, including Mexican immigrants, by the way, who they seem to focus on disproportionately, uh, commit crimes to a lesser degree than native-born uh, people. In fact, five times less uh, than they do. Uh, the fact of the matter is most of these people are working. Uh, they're creating wealth. They're contributing to the economy. Uh, here in Los Angeles, the reason why I'm as outspoken as I am, as you said at the start of this show, is because uh, I see that these people are starting their businesses. They have their children here. Their kids are going to school here. They live, they mayor, go to church here. Here's the uh, one thing I, I don't get. If legally uh, the government would have a right to deport them, but not morally, are the laws that we put in place immoral to begin with? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I can tell you this, uh, that it's immoral to divide mothers from their children in the way that they're beginning to do now. There's been a lot of issue about whether or not this is consistent with what uh, President Obama or Bush did. Uh, yes, uh, both deported a lot of people. Uh, they focused primarily, though not always, on serious criminals. They've expanded the definition of a criminal offense to include crossing the border uh, multiple times to come back to your family, to include using fake documents so uh, when you're stopped uh, that you're not uh, deported, to include using driving without a driver's license when you couldn't get a driver's license. So look, uh, why don't we fix this broken immigration system, uh, Stephanie? Both Democrats and, agree that, uh, and Republicans agree that it's broken instead of terrorizing families, dividing them in the way that they're doing here today and across the country. Much of President Trump's base, many of whom voted for him, felt like they were the forgotten Americans. I'm a mother myself, and the thought of a mother being taken away from her children is horrible. But what do you say to those Americans who say, well, that mother originally illegally brought her children to this country, or to what Donald, President Trump wants to go after, those who paid smugglers to bring their children here. And yes, they came here to pursue the American dream, to give their children a better life. But what is the response to those Americans who say, well, I'm an American citizen and I want a better life. Well, first of all, he's dividing uh, one American against the other. Uh, the fact is that, uh, as you said, uh, these mothers are coming here uh, to give their children a better life. The fact is their children uh, are going to school here and working here. They're not committing crimes in the way that Donald Trump would suggest. Uh, Washington Post, National Academy of Sciences have had an exhaustive study uh, proving that. And yet he, he continues to argue that they're somehow uh, disproportionately committing crimes in our country. It's just not true. It's also not true that they're disproportionately taking jobs. Uh, the fact of the matter is uh, a long study, two decades worth indicated that they're not taking jobs for most Americans, that only other immigrants are impacted by them, and only to a certain extent. So I think what we say to them, let's fix the broken immigration system instead of going into communities in the way that they're doing here in Los Angeles, across the state and the nation. Uh, let's work together uh, to make sure that uh, we're securing our borders, that we're certainly deporting serious uh, criminals who uh, commit violent crime, but not people who have done very little uh, except uh, to break our laws, except to cross uh, the border. All right, Mayor Villaragosa, thank you so much for joining me this morning and sharing your thoughts. I appreciate it. Stephanie, thank you for having me.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.